Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Thermalrite Silver Arrow. Now before I take a look at what's inside the box, I just wanted to note that Thermalrite does this on every single one of their product boxes as far as I know. Uh, they just got the plain brown box with the Thermalrite logo and then the name of the product here on both sides. Silver Arrow. And this fits all of the new Intel and AMD sockets 775, 1156, 1366, AM2, and AM3. Now let's open this up and see what comes inside. First you have your assembly list here. It basically tells what comes in the box and how many of each thing to make sure that you have all the included parts. Then we have the instruction book here for the AMD install as well as what you will need to install it on the AMD. And we have the Intel installation guide here. Tells you what parts you're going to need to install on the Intel sockets. And then we have a Thermalrite case badge. Open this up here. You can see this is the way the, pack, the cooler is packaged inside the box. Let's open up our accessory package here. Basically we have Intel 775, 1156, and 1366 mounts here. We have the AMD AM2 and AM3 mounting brackets here, which is much simpler. We have our four included fan clips. And then we have the pressure valve adjustment. This basically adds extra pressure to your cooler to increase the thermal conductivity between the CPU and the heatsink. We also have two sets of fan isolator pads. One fan, two fans. We have two gram tube of Chill Factor 3 thermal paste from Thermalrite. This is very good thermal paste. I've used it quite a few times. And then we have the adjustment wrench for tightening down the pressure valve. Now let's move on to the CPU cooler itself. As you can see it's packaged in this foam to help protect it. Two pieces here. Now they include two 140 millimeter fans. These are their new TY140 and they're basically 140 millimeter fans. You can see they have an olive green frame and a medium blue blade and basically they have 120 millimeter fan mounts but they're 140 millimeter fans so this can either help you or hurt you depending on if you end up using these fans for other applications maybe uh, but these fans work really good on this uh, heat sink especially when they're both on there and as you can see they have very nice sleeving instead of that awkward multicolored wire that they got coming out of there. Now let's take the heat sink itself out of the package. As you can see this thing is massive. Whereas most heat sinks have just one row of fins, this actually has two, two separate towers here. And these fins are closely packed together since they are meant for um, fans to be mounted on here. On a passive cooler, you're going to see the fins placed further apart to get the airflow through there. As you can see, the heat pipes, these are 8mm heat pipes. Um, copper base, it's all nickel plated. This is very flat here. It's been machined to a perfect finish, mirror finish. And uh, yeah, guys, so that is the Thermalrite Silver Arrow. If you'd like to see more on this product, please stay tuned. I will have a more in-depth look as well as idle and load temperature results uh, comparing this to the stock cooler. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you haven't checked out my channel, please check out my channel and subscribe if you want the latest video updates. And you guys all have a great day. More videos to come.